Roger comes to us with 27 years of collegiate coaching experience at all NCAA levels, including 10 seasons as a head coach of the Division I Princeton University team from 2000 through 2009. Prior to that, he was the offensive coordinator at Dartmouth, where he led that team offensively primarily to two Ivy League championships, and while he was at Princeton, led that team to one Ivy League championship. It was with great pleasure that I introduce you to the next men's and ninth men's head football coach at Stetson University, Roger Hughes. Good afternoon, and thank you very much for coming out. Uh, I'm blessed to have a very unique experience from going from the oldest program in the country to the youngest. And, and so with that, um, when you start anything, it's a colossal event. Anything from the ground floor up where really nothing has been started to this point is, can, can be very overwhelming. But the key is being able, if you're going to be successful at that, is to surround your people who are, have a great vision and also are committed to the success of whatever that endeavor is that you're starting. This challenge and the people here are what attract me to that. In addition to the already uh, stellar uh, reputation of Stetson as an academic institution as well as an athletic institution. Um, I'm very excited to be able to work within President Libby's vision for the program. I'm, uh, she embraces everything positive that athletics and in particular football can do for a university and wants to bring all those things forward with it. I'm equally excited about working on the direction of uh, Director of Athletics Jeff Altiers who has a, similar, a value system that's congruent with mine and frankly shared that same vision I have for this program. Uh, I look forward to working with the faculty, the administration, <clears throat> the trustees, and the community to making sure that the experience that our football athletes and all undergraduates here at Stetson's is the best that we can possibly provide. Um, there's going to be a lot of work to do. Obviously assembling a staff, hitting the ground uh, with recruiting, which is I think we're a little bit behind right now for this year, but we'll get caught up. Uh, establishing all the facilities, getting the support staff in place, uh, it's a lot to do. And I'm certainly going to need the help of everyone in this room to make that happen. Uh, you need to be part of this team. You need to be part of Stetson football. And the experience you're going to have through our athletes is going to be one that you'll, uh, that you'll cherish. It's important that we do things the right way at, at Stetson. We are going to make sure that we fall within and recruit within uh, Stetson's recipe. And that's going to be different than any other uh, institution across the country. I'm looking forward to understanding the ingredients to that recipe for being successful by interacting with the coaches that are already here. Uh, <clears throat> Jeff has assembled an outstanding group of coaches here who I can learn a great deal from and I'm looking forward to picking their brain over the next few weeks. Um, our athletes need to be successful on the field, off the field, and in the community. And everything that we're going to do is going to stress character, leadership, and doing things the right way. So with that, there's no, shorts, no shortcuts to the top. Uh, it's going to be a lot of hard work. We're going to be asking a lot of people in the room here for that assistance. But together, I think we can make this a very special place. Thank you very much for this opportunity. I'm excited to be here. <clears throat> Well, number one is recruiting, and then number two is recruiting, and number three is recruiting. Um, we're, we're a little bit behind because right now in the process, a lot of, uh, of this year's going to be seniors have attended summer camps, have been on campuses of places that they're interested in. So it's going to be our, uh, um, the first thing we have to do is identify who fits Stetson's formula, um, and then go on and, and introduce them and share and let them uh, experience and take part in the vision for this program. There's going to be a little bit of selling what's not here, uh, much like an investment uh, uh, advisor. Uh, you're, you're selling the future and you're selling the ability to grow something into something pretty special. So that's what we'll be selling. So recruiting is number one. Number two <clears throat> uh, would be assembling a staff. And I, I'm really pleased with the fiscal responsibility that's been showed by, by both Jeff and, and Dr. Libby as we bring the staff on in a fiscally responsible, uh, responsible way. Um, but also in a way that gives us an opportunity to achieve our goals. We want to recruit a class of at least 50 uh, student athletes uh, this year and going forward recruit another class before we eventually start playing those games. In conjunction with that, uh, we'll be building the facilities necessary to accommodate uh, the increase in the student athlete population that we have, such as a weight room, uh, certainly coaches' offices. Right now my office doesn't consist of a whole lot other than my cell phone, but uh, we hope to get that a little bit better this afternoon. 
Um, so those, those things are going to be going on in conjunction with that. I think we'll focus on wherever we can find good athletes, but clearly one of the other attractive things of, of, uh, of this position, this, this opportunity, is the fact that it is in a hotbed of very good football players. And I think um, it's going to depend on our budgetary concerns. It's going to depend, again, we're starting late, uh, but we certainly want to make sure that we are geographically diverse. And I think one of the things that Stetson's academic reputation will allow us to do is to uh, achieve enrollment, maybe small at first, from other parts of the country uh, as we start to gain uh, notoriety, and then, uh, and then we'll move from there. But essentially, you want to start, start locally with the idea of expanding out um, as we get more well-known. Well, go to a place and, and, because of a tradition, come here and be the tradition start the tradition right now. Obviously you're getting a great academic uh, background so that you know most of the most of the kids who play at this level are not going to get NFL contracts. If you're good enough the NFL will find you. It doesn't matter where you're playing. It, it gets down to what what experience does a young man want to have? You know, what are your abilities? Do you really have the ability to play at that level? Uh, what's playing at the Division One level? Is it standing on the sidelines waiting for a shot your senior year? Or is it coming here as a freshman and getting a chance to get on the field? To me, playing is playing, not standing around holding a clipboard. And the other thing is, uh, you know, one of the things that, that make a great college experience is your ability to develop a relationship with a faculty member or a, or a coach for that matter. And uh, the average class size and the smallness of this university with the stellar faculty is going to give them a chance to have a great college experience. And I think those are the types of things that, that kids who are interested in academics uh, are, going to, are going to look for across the country. And this is going to sound really corny, but I am the corniest person in America. Kids should go to class. Kids should be coming to school to get a great education, should value that education. Kids should take advantage of those educational opportunities when they're on campus. And so, uh, frankly, I think God bless ESPN and God curse ESPN because what they've really shown is the now. I want, I want everything now. I want the big money and everything. And when they, when they really look at it, uh, that opportunity is only there for just a couple kids. And the rest of them are going to go out and have to make a living just as hard as we do every day. So you want to be associated with kids that can do that. One of the, one of the neatest things... Um, at, at Princeton when I was there and at Dartmouth both was kids would come into my office and talk to me about things other than football and frankly I think if they don't then I failed as a mentor. Uh, we should be instilling in them habits that are going to make them successful for the rest of their life and that's my job as their head coach and that will be the job of my coaching staff to make sure that we have the bigger picture in mind. Hey, don't ask me those questions on Saturday. We're there to win. But with that said, there's, there's a bigger picture out there that, that these young men, we're supposed to make them not only productive members of Stetson, but also productive members of the, of the society as they go out to become part of it.